What is going on, guys? I am a few minutes early or late, depending on how you want to uh, justify the video time right now. Uh, I will wait until 8.45 to actually cut the boxes open, but I'm really kind of excited to get into this. Only one of the two boxes showed up today, so um, that's kind of annoying to me. There were supposed to be seven of, a, seven of them here today. I only got three of them. Um, obviously, I've got my hard shell Funko protectors ready, which is good because I only have three of the hard shells, and this particular box only had three items. Um, so far, I'm a little little worried, but based on everything I've been hearing, I'm not super worried. So this was the box, it's a little banged up. Um, hopefully that, uh, hopefully those are good. I do have a second box here that came in today. This is um, the PS5 Walmart exclusive edition of the Hot Wheels Unleashed game. This actually came with an exclusive Hot Wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox that on the live feed today as well. Um, so yeah, at least we'll get a little bit of something and then hopefully tomorrow, I've been saying this for three days, but it never fails. The moment I plan for something to arrive on time is when it always shows up late and then there's anything I can do about it. And I look like an ass because somebody else failed to do their job, um, which is stupid. So these Funkos are actually addressed to two different people. They were both shipped to my house and UPS has said that, oh yeah, it's going to be here, you know, it's supposed to be here Saturday, Friday, and then find out that they hand it off to the postal service. And then the postal service like, oh, it'll be there Tuesday. Well, Tuesday came and gone, didn't get them. Now it's like, oh, it'll be there Wednesday. Now I check the tracking, oh, it'll definitely be there Thursday. So yeah. Oh man, I'm tired. So I got to work this morning. I left here at like seven o'clock in the morning, tried to get to work by eight, uh, ended up in traffic for an hour and a half. And I just brutal uh, traffic from here to Tampa. is just awful. And I uh, got to the office like an hour and a half late. The owner was supposed to be at the company. Uh, we'd heard rumors that we were not getting a holiday bonus. Then my boss is like, no, 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 we got holiday bonuses. So I roll in, I'm like, okay, I'm here. I'm ready to see the owner, like do the thing. Owner never showed. Uh, boss calls me into the office at like three o'clock today. And then it's like, yeah, your bonus is missing. I'm like, I I'm sorry. And uh, come to find out they lost my bonus check. So I think I'm still like, they swear up and down I'm still getting one, but who knows when it's actually going to arrive. So that'll be interesting. Uh, looks like we got somebody up on the feed tonight. Who's up there? Chat, say hello. What's up? Who's watching me? Which one of you crazy stalkers do I got? Joey, what up, brother? Yeah, man. Like, so anyhow, I got to work to like seven. I got to work at like 8.30. Uh, and then what ended up happening was one of my coworkers had actually showed up that works remote. And he shows up. He's like, oh, I got some moonshine for you guys. I'm like, oh, yeah, bet. We end up having a dinner with this guy and drinks, and we run into one of our vice presidents. Well, that, of course, turned into an entire uh, conversation of off the clock, off the cuff. Like, you tell me, you, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. And so me and, the, me and the bosses were going back and forth for a bit, and that lasted until like 7.30. Finally, I'm like, I've got to let the dogs out. I've got to get home. i got things to do tonight. And uh, so I hit the freeway doing like a, probably about a buck, buck oh five. I mean, I made it home in like 25 minutes tonight, so um, I made it in time for the video. I'm really excited to crack these open. Did I show them yours? I show everybody mine, bro. Like, and there ain't nobody in here that ain't seen mine. I'm telling you, like, look, everybody see mine. It's fine. I ain't got no, got no shame in my game. Uh, the new kid on the team was a little like frazzled, but dude, she had, she had one beer and a single shot, and she was gone. So she had to wait to sober up, which, you know, luckily we ended up having a long conversation, but, uh, oh, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. So uh, you missed the earlier opening. I'm going to crack one case of the Funko NFTs because that's all the Postal Service slash UPS has delivered me. And then we're going to crack open a, a Walmart exclusive uh, PlayStation 5 Hot Wheels Unleashed game, which has an exclusive Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. So we'll do that tonight. 
And then tomorrow, uh, we're actually going to have the Grail, the Royalty, and two Legendaries, if the Postal Service delivers on time, uh, the Funkos. So, yeah, we're going to end up doing like a few live videos this week. Uh, Entertainment Earth has confirmed they've shipped the... I don't remember. Uh, but there's a shipment coming from Entertainment Earth this week. And I've talked to my Diamond rep. We got a bunch of stuff on order from Diamond. Tons of G.I. Joe Classified coming in. Basically, the entire waves that I've missed uh, on uh, ordering direct, I was able to get my hands on. So I've got Tomont, Zaymont, uh, Stalker, uh, Zorana, Dusty, and somebody else coming like next week. So huge, huge releases. Uh, this morning, Funko and It's Sugar released their exclusive nerds, the Grape and Strawberry Nerd. They're available online. Joey, I sent you a link to those direct. Um, they're $15.99 plus shipping. I think they were going to be like $22 for me. The WinterCon exclusives all dropped and sold out on Funko.com this morning. Uh, one of the big names on that was the Hush Batman. So that has uh, released. I got my hands on one. I'm holding them for a buddy on the Cigar Club. But if he ends up finding it direct, then cool, no harm, no foul. Uh, so with that, it's time. Let's do this. Let's crack in these boxes. First box I'm going to crack into is going to be the Hot Wheels box. Uh, let's get that out of the way as soon as I find my box cutter. Uh, apparently, I must have taken it into the living room. So, uh, and I don't have my knife with me, which I normally carry. We'll just use a key. It'll be a fun time. All right. Um, yeah, dude, I sent you a text this morning at like 10 o'clock that the uh, Nerd Spunkos dropped, and I sent the link to them. Uh, but if you don't have the link, just go to itssugar.com, and they are on the front page. Both grape and strawberry. I didn't know they were doing both. I knew they were doing the grape. So uh, they're out. They're not selling out super fast. So I wasn't like in a rush to buy them for myself. But I will probably get a set uh, this weekend after we do some work on the sponsors. All right. So first up, completely sealed PlayStation 5 Challenge Edition. Uh, this was a Walmart exclusive. And this is the exclusive, uh, it looks like the Bone Shaker. Uh, is that the Bone Shaker? Yes, that is the Bone Shaker. Oh, I dropped it. Uh, bone Shaker with exclusive library. So the cool part about this game is Sony has released the, uh, like the online store for the Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels Unleashed game has a ton of cars that you can download virtually and race with. Uh, they've got everything from monster trucks to uh, cartoon series, the Turtles cars, uh, different Batmobiles. All of that um, is available through uh, their store. I've been playing it kind of on easy, just kind of blow through the game. Honestly, it's super, super fun. So uh, if you don't have this game, look into getting it. On my video of Hot Wheels that I posted on YouTube and that I've linked on. Oh, I'm starting to tear the plastic. Mm. Stop it. All right, we're just going to leave that sticker where it stands. Um, I might actually crack this open just to get the Hot Wheel out of it, because why not? Um, it's actually got a steel book in here. That's cool. Um, but I talked about something like this on the Hot Wheels video, right, where uh, they will release an exclusive car with random inserts and packs. This is one of those times. So just like the Toys R Us Hot Wheels game when it came out, it had a Sweet 16. Walmart got an exclusive Bone Shaker. Uh, not necessarily keeping this car, I mean, keeping this car in the package like where it sits right now will obviously keep its value. Um, but at the same token, if I was to even open this, keep it loose, the paint job itself is exclusive to this, this set. And this car will hold a little bit of value being that it was only available to Walmarts and to, uh, to uh, the video game Unleashed purchase. Okay, here's the real, real surprise right so this was the funko nft this is the redemptions for the retro comic series which is the popeye set 
earlier, for those of you that weren't on the video, uh, I showed that this box has come in crushed. So there's a little concern here about how bad these are going to be. We have heard rumors that uh, they have packaged these in the spacer boxes. So this is what the spacer box looks like. The Funko is actually secured inside. There's like about a half inch inch of uh, space in between all the edges to keep the card and the Funko from getting damaged. So if these three Funkos are packaged with those spacers, then this box damage will mean nothing. So let's see. I'm really, really excited about these. Oh, dude. So they actually have a three-piece spacer. So if we look at the box, this was the corner that was smashed. You can see, however, where the spacer's at. The spacer is actually taking up that damage. So the spacer has some crushes, but it's fine. I am super excited about these. Oh, these are... Ah, I'm trying not to swear in my videos, especially for my 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 unboxing, my reveals, but these are hot. All right, check these bad boys out, guys. So this is the first time that Bluto has been released as a Funko. Um, this is Freddy Funko as Popeye. So this is what they called the royalty. Um, if you... The royalty had a max release of thirty-one ninety-eight. This is one of thirty-one ninety-eight. This is a very low run for a Funko exclusive. The back of the box actually shows the NFT that you received when you collected the set to make the royalty. Uh, the royalty essentially means that you collected all of the common, uncommon, rare, and what was the other one? Started with a U. Um, not ultra, but it was common, uncommon, rare. There's another level, and then it went legendary, and uh, then it went redemptions. So the legendary, uh, and sorry, Dusty's like texting me, being an idiot. He's supposed to be on the speed right now, so I'm going to just. Uh, Maybe not a, sorry about that. I had to go tell Dusty to get his stupid self on this video. Um, but you had to collect, yeah, it was common, uncommon, rare. There's one other level, and then it was uh, the legendary, which is what the Bluto is. Now, you do not need to, you only need to collect the four, the four levels, the common, the uncommon, the rare, and uh, whatever the U was. When you collected one of each of those NFTs, you were entered in to receive the royalty. Once you've collected the set, you get a royalty. The royalty was always Freddy Funko as something in the design. So in this case, again, in retro comics was Popeye. Um, so you have Freddy Funko as Popeye holding spinach, one of 3198. Um, the box on this actually came in all true, in all honesty, pretty pristine um the corners are tight the edges are tight the graphics are like all the the actual no, nothing's ripped on the box the images is clear that's 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 tight so we have one more of these royalties still coming um then we have the legendary so again this is bluto this is the first time bluto has been made as a funko pop uh, you can see here that the release number on this was 1500 or less, um, or excuse me, 1900 or less on this particular release. I think the final numbers on this were less than 1700 for uh, the Bluto's that were redeemed. So to get a Bluto, you either had to buy the legendary card to get the legendary NFT to get this redemption, or you had to. Uh, crack a pack of NFTs and get one inside it. Um, and what would happen with this is you'd receive, and this is the actual NFT. So if you received, if you open a pack or you bought them, this is the NFT you'd receive. You'd see this Bluto, 
it would say a legendary. And then what would happen is you were given a window to send in and redeem that NFT. So you would have to forego your NFT. Well, actually you don't, you get to keep the NFT. They would take what's called a snapshot. So they would say on January 15th at 11 a.m. Eastern time, we're going to do a snapshot. And if you have this NFT in your wallet, they would give you a special redemption token. You took that token within 30 days later and you would say, hey, I want to redeem this token. They burn it out of your wallet that allows you to fill out a form to receive one of these. And Dusty, this is actually Dusty shipment. Dusty was lucky enough to pull two Bluetos. I think he, yeah, he pulled two Bluetos and I helped him build the, um, I helped him build the royalty wallet so he could get the Freddy Funko. Here's the second Bluto that he received. Again, the corners, the edges are perfect. And he's literally. And so I dipped out because I'm streaming this completely from my phone. Um, Dusty doesn't own iOS because he's cheap. He's broke. He owns Droid. Um, actually, there is a problem with this particular one. Uh, it looks like it's just... I can't tell if it's just like the ink that they used on the on these cards, on the cardboard here. But there's definitely something wrong in this corner. Um, it's not... It's not bent. It's just like the ink bled really weird. Um, what had happened was on, hey, I think that's Dusty. Did he finally make it? Did he figure out how to use Facebook? Maybe. Dusty, are you out there? We're looking for you. Um, there is an issue with one of these pops, and it's it, it's more about the paint on the cardboard. So the edges on this cardboard, it looks like the paint kind of bled. Now, is that super important? Yes and no. I mean, the plastic on this has some kind of like dust and scrapes on it. Again, is it super terrible? No. As a Funko collector, I've seen way worse. If we were to send these out to be graded, they would receive a little bit lower grade because of the scuffs on the packaging. So when you send an action figure or a collectible out to be graded, uh, they look at three different things to get your final grade. So you get a grade on the packaging. So the edges, any corner tears, etc. the bubbles, if they're scratched up, you get a grade for that. You get a grade for the product inside the package. If there's any paint uh, mishaps, any scuffs. Uh, the paint applications on these look phenomenal. So this will get a high grade for that. And then it kind of gets to like an overall grade. And then those three numbers actually uh, combined to give you your final grade for your figure. So I think these would grade easily outside of the scuffs on the bubble. I mean, these bubbles would probably get a nine, I'd say a nine, six, nine, seven, the figure themselves sticker on that's a little, oh, it's just a cardboard on the sticker. There we go. It's better. Um, the figures would easily get a nine, nine, a ten dot oh. Yes, Joey, that's exactly why protectors are important. I'm actually putting these in the hard shells as soon as this video is over uh, to ensure that nothing can happen to these. Um, I think all in all, these would grade easily a 9.8 or 9.9 just because the figures are in great shape. The overall is in great shape. Uh, the only thing wrong with all three of them, and Dusty, since you missed it. Yeah, D. So they actually had a three-piece floater. So I sent you the photos and I showed the photos of the box on the outside where that corner was crushed and the floater, you can see where the floater took the damage, like right here. Um, uh, I've got the sleeves. I'm not going to put this. Oh, you're being an asshole about diamond, not shipping the 200 protector cases that I ordered. Yeah, I got you. And you just made me swear on my feet. Screw you. Um, but I'm going to put them, I hit Target the other day, and I actually bought the hard shells. I'm going to put all these in the hard shells, and I need to go get some more for the shipments coming in tomorrow. So when we mail these, um, I'm going to mail these in the hard shells. So they're going to, they're probably not going to get the individual shipper protectors that I normally put these in. 
but I'm going to put them in the hard shells and then we'll use the Funko case to ship in it. So yes, it's always hard. I'm, have you seen the things that I open? It makes me hard. Um, but D there is your royalty and I'm not going to lie. This royalty is hot, bro. I mean, Freddie Funko with the spinach can as pub by, he's got the tattoo. Like this is sick. I'm going to take some photos. I will send them to you tonight. Go ahead and list these on eBay with in hand. Um, so we can get these things sold. And then tomorrow when mine come in, we'll do another unboxing. We will do, um, it's going to have the Flash Gordon, the Popeye with Sweet Pea Grail, the Popeye, uh, Freddy Funko royalty, and then it's going to have the Bluto. So tomorrow's video will have three new Funkos not shown to, two new Funkos not shown here. Um, but let's hope that mine come in the same condition as Dusty's. Otherwise, I'm going to trade Dusty's. I'm kidding. I would never do that. Um, not after admitting it. <laughs> no. So I want to get these on eBay tonight. So Dusty, like I said, I'm going to take a bunch of photos of these. I want you to list them as in hand. That way you can get them like moving, get some auction prices moving. And then tomorrow we'll have the other two. I don't think I've got any diamond orders coming in tomorrow. Diamond ships on Wednesday. So next Wednesday, I've got an order coming from Diamond. And then, sorry, um, I should have an Entertainment Earth order coming in next week. Uh, I'll confirm what's going to be in it. But, yeah, I think I told everybody I have an order of the, uh, that's awesome. I'm glad that Discord has not seen any damage. It means that these guys finally got their head out of their rear end and got these things done properly this time. I'm not going to lie. These are sick. I would, I, I really kind of want to keep mine in my collection, but at the same token, I know what they're potentially worth and I want to, I want to recover some money on these. As for NFT Funkos, so we have the retro comic series coming that are now arriving. Transformers should be next. Uh, I've got everything but the golden Optimus Prime Grail. So it's going to be uh, Bumblebee. So there's going to be a Freddy Funko as Bumblebee. That is the royalty. Got one of those coming, possibly two, because I think, Dusty, I think I got you a set of those. There are at least two of the um, Rodimus Primes coming. There is a Devastator. There is... It's Rodimus Prime, Devastator, Wheeljack, I forget who the other Decepticon is, and then Bumblebee as, um, Bumblebee as, or Freddy Funko as Bumblebee for the royalty. That's what's coming for the Transformer set. After that, uh, it's going to be a few months, and then we hit into the DC Comic Series 1. Uh, there's the royalty and something else coming for that hot rod. That's what it was. Not Mac, not a Rodimus hot rod. So yeah, hot, there's two hot rods, two bumblebees, and then one devastator, one wheel jack. I forget what the other uh, Decepticon is. And then that rounds out the transformers. DC series one is going to be, I want to say Freddy Funko is Batman royalty. I'm pretty sure I completed the royalty set on that. Along with uh, the first Green Lantern and uh, Eradicator. So those three from DC Series 1. I skipped a couple series. Um, I've got a Freddy Funko as Diggum coming from the Kellogg NFT set. Skipped a series. Did DC Series 2. Now we've got a ton of DC Series 2 coming. We have everything but the Grail in multiples. So the Fairlax uh, uh, Green Lantern, the uh, Earth 52 Superman, which is the Black Superman. Uh, I don't know if we end up with the Gaslight Batman. We might have a Gaslight Batman. Uh, the Earth 52 Flash. And then the. Uh, Two of the royalties, which were Freddy Funko as the Riddler. So those are coming for DC Series 2. And I think that was the last series for the NFTs on Funkos that we've 
we ventured into because the next few series were just really trash. Um, might get into the Matrix set. Uh, the the NFTs have already dropped. The uh, legendaries are holding pretty solid. Uh, we'll see if the next set is going to be worth anything. It looks like Funko pulled back. So normally by now, Funko would have already released the next NFTs. And Funko and Drop have pulled back based on some uh, shipping issues and the fact that their sales have really fallen through the floor due to the fact that they cannot send these redemptions out. These particular NFTs, we redeemed these back in January of 2022. And it took them just till now to deliver them. So almost 11 full months to get a set of redemptions. It's ridiculous. Um, again, I'm, I'm very happy that they came in the, the shipper spacer boxes. I'm glad that they came undamaged. There were a lot of problems with the TMNTs, the Star Treks, the Bob Ross. Those were all damaged. Oh. So it's good to see that they fixed their logistics when it comes to shipping damages. Um, yeah. So that's it for tonight's video, guys. Uh, I know, like I said, it was a little bit late. I am um, I'm super excited that we got to open these. I'm going to be even more excited to have these on eBay tonight. And then tomorrow we'll open four more and we'll have those on eBay. And yeah, we'll continue to receive the NFTs and we'll keep doing these openings. So with that, guys, I wish you a great evening. Um, yeah, we bought them in January, February, redeemed in spring, and we're supposed to get them in Q3. Yeah, so we purchased these, got the uh, – yeah, thanks, Joey. We'll talk to you later, brother. Uh, yeah, we did. We got these in January, and then the redemptions were like March, and we just now got them. So, But that's fine. Again, we're going to get some more tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get them on eBay, and uh, we're going to do some more box openings next week. Lots of new product. I will let you guys know about a bunch of pre-orders that I did. Uh, we will do a Friday recap and then work our way through the weekend. So have a great night, guys. I still need to get some food and uh, and get the Nerds Funkos. Yes, go get the Nerds Funkos. I've got to get mine still. You need to get yours. Um, and then I'm still looking, contemplating that uh, autograph set if that's still available. So we'll see what happens, especially now that I know that I got a bonus check coming. I got some money to spend. All right, y'all. As always, like, share. I'm going to post this and record it and send it up on YouTube. So we're going to beef up the YouTube channel a little bit with some more content from all the live videos we've been doing here. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night with more Funkos. So get you some NFT Funkos. Super, super, super rare. All right, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.